everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carol and I'm a freelance lifestyle journalist who also runs AlmostDiplomatic.com. It's where I share about my life as a millennial diplomat's wife, the good life on a budget, and currently living in and traveling from Berlin. For today's video, we are going to talk about something I am very passionate about, and that is wearing modern Filipiniana. As someone who's married to a diplomat currently assigned abroad, we get to attend a lot of diplomatic events, and these events are part of the job. I discuss this in detail in another video, which I will link up in the cards. Personally, I find these events to be great platforms wherein we can showcase our culture. For such events, I love wearing modern Filipiniana, wherein I will take some key Filipiniana pieces and I will mix and match them with some of the things that I already own in my closet and that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Some people might think that fashion is frivolous. However, I personally believe that it can be a powerful tool if you want to showcase a part of our culture or if you want to advocate something. A good Filipiniana piece, especially if it's custom, can actually set you back a bit more than what you plan for budget-wise, especially if you're used to buying off the rack. However, I think that these pieces are actually worth the investment. If you're somebody who's only starting your Filipiniana collection and you already have a lot of events to attend, then I think modernizing the look and going for something that you can mix and match is the way to go. Investing in, let's say, a top that's in a classic cut and color and maybe also some bottoms and some pieces of jewelry can actually take your looks further. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you one such piece and it is a piece that I get asked about all the time. I get messages from people on Facebook and Instagram asking me where I got it from and also from people who are telling me that a photo of me wearing this outfit is actually being used as a peg for their upcoming Christmas party or another theme party wherein they are being asked to wear modern Filipiniana. And I swear, these kinds of messages make me so happy. Thank you so much. And the piece that I'm talking about is my Termo top. So I've had this made years back and I've worn this so many times. However, people always think that it is a new piece specifically because of how I style it with different items from my closet. I usually use pieces that I already own, pieces that are off the rack, and I'm able to make an outfit using high-end custom pieces and also things that are off the rack and things that you can just buy in the high street or the department store. Using items that you already own in your closet and then mixing and matching them is actually helping you become more financially sustainable and also kinder to the environment because you're not just buying so many things over and over every time you have a new event or just wearing them a couple of times before discarding them. So for the first look, I went with something that's a little bit more classic and I paired my therno top with a long black skirt and some black stilettos. I wore this combination for the Santa Cruzen here in Berlin and it worked out pretty well. I'm also wearing some jewelry from Filipino designer Oscar Atendido. He makes wonderful classical looking jewelry. I love the tambourine necklace and the matching earrings that I'm wearing every time I wear them to events people automatically fall in love. On days when I want to wear something that's Filipiniana, but let's say it's too cold, then I can wear it over a plain looking top and it instantly elevates the look of the outfit. For the next look, I changed my skirt to something that's a little bit more casual, and this is from Uniqlo. It is one of their A-line skirts with pockets, which makes it so practical. And I'm also wearing my wedding shoes. They are white and pearly white and I love them so much. I'm just so happy that they're still fine because I love re-wearing them. And I'm also wearing some pearl jewelry from the Philippines. So I really love this look because I feel like it's a marriage of Filipiniana and also the 1950s Hollywood style, which I am really into. For the next look, I kept my shoes and my jewelry and I picked up a new skirt from my closet and it is actually another one from Uniqlo. It is one of their A-line skirts once again, but in a different color. So this is a really pretty shade of lavender. I feel like it's such a spring color and honestly, ang last lang talaga yung maka fresh. So I'm really in love with it. Let's say I want to change this up a little bit. I can change my earrings into something that's a little bit more of a statement piece. So I got uh, these orchid earrings, which I think also goes well with the skirt because they are just like a darker shade of purple. I think I got these ones from Zara and I think they're just really pretty. So, and it works with the outfit as well. So another high street brand that works well with a custom 
piece. And of course, it wouldn't be me if I don't include an all white look. I love white. Sometimes I do get a little bit scared that I might, you know, spill something on myself or somebody else will do it. But thankfully, and knock on wood, it has never happened yet. I'm always pretty much careful with it. So yeah, I really love this look because I paired it with another uh, Filipino brand and this time it is also an off the rack brand. It's called Apartment A and I think I got this white skirt from their stall in Green Hills and I've been wearing this I think for almost five years now and I just rotate it with other tops and not just for my Filipina attire but also for like more casual outings. So this is one of my most used skirts. Looking at this look, it kind of makes me feel like I want to get married again. But of course, to the same husband. I also added a thick headband with pearls on it, which I think really elevated the look. I really love anything that you can use to adorn your hair, from clips, scarves, headbands, even hats. So I try to incorporate these things into modern Filipiniana looks as well. So one of my most popular modern Filipiniana OOTDs actually looks so similar to this one. It's just that in that outfit, I am wearing pants that are more loose. And this time I decided to pair this top and the same belt and stilettos with a more tapered type of slacks. So I actually wore this outfit to an event in the Ritz-Carlton and at that time it was a bit hard for me to find a flapper dress which would go well with their 1920s theme. So what I did was I just pulled the diplomat's wife card. In the 1920s, women in the Philippines were actually wearing the terno or an earlier version of it at least. And so I paired my terno top with some loose and long pants which I think gave it a more masculine feel without losing the feminine touch. So I think that in itself is a very 1920s thing. Women were starting to embrace men's fashion and also look at equality, which I really, really like about the era. Also shorter hair was becoming more fashionable. So I think it was a good way to interpret the theme. That night, I was also being asked about what I was wearing, so I took it as an opportunity to share more about our culture, which I think was such a good win. So for the next look, I just changed the pants into white, another all-white outfit, which I really like, and with just a pop of color from the belt, which I retained from the previous outfit. I'm still wearing the same shoes and also the accessories. And what makes me happy about this outfit is how fresh it looks as well. It's feminine again, but with the pants incorporated into it, I feel like it makes you look more of a lady boss. Another way of updating a modern Filipiniana look is just by changing up the accessories, even if you have the same top, bottom, and the shoes. So for this look, I changed the belt and also added the clutch that goes with it. In Europe, there are a lot of garden parties during the spring and let's say you want to wear this outfit there, you might sink into the grass because of the skinny stiletto heel. I love that personally, however, when you're on grass, then that's a little bit dangerous. So I can change the shoes into something with a block heel. It can also work well with sandals. So then it looks a little bit more casual, but still elegant. So that's what I love about the terra top. And with the same block heels and top, I can just change the skirt back into what I was wearing for the second look. And now it is another different outfit. So there you have it. I think I could actually sit here all day and just show you different looks just by taking out stuff from my closet and pairing it with the terno top. So if it's your first time trying to put together a modern Filipiniana piece using one investment piece and some of the stuff in your closet, then I actually have a couple of tips for you. First is don't be afraid to take inspiration and make it your own. Personally, I find inspiration in so many different things, places, people, even just normal everyday items. However, if you are like just starting out, one thing that I can recommend is this book. This is Fashionable Filipinas by Gina Gonzalez and Mark Lewis Higgins. So it is a photo book which shows the evolution of the Philippine national dress from 1860 to 1960 and also has like really good text talking about fashion from back in the day and how it evolved and I really really love it. Just by flipping through the book, you will definitely find something that will inspire you. I also love being inspired by real women who I look up to and one of them is Deputy Speaker Lauren Legarda who as we all know is the queen 
of modernizing Filipiniana fashion. She has been doing it for so long and she's such an expert at it. It always looks great. And she also uses indigenous fabric, which I love. And every time I would put together a look that involves indigenous fabric, I would usually look at how she would do it because she just does it so well. My first National Day outfit, which had indigenous fabric in it, was definitely inspired by her. So maybe we can talk about that in another video, like how you can incorporate indigenous fabric into your modern Filipiniana attire. Another woman who inspires me is journalist Pion Teveros Pagalinawan, who has impeccable taste, especially when it comes to ternos and the more classic cuts. So she has a friend who brings her ideas to life, and I think she really does it so well. There's also our ambassador to Germany, Ambassador Maria Teresa de de Vega, who is such an inspiration, not just in the work that she does, but also in her fashion choices. So she does really well in putting together modern Filipiniana looks. They always look so good on her and always look so put together. She also wears classic pieces like full-on ternos. The one she wore during her presentation of credentials was so beautiful. It's this light pink dress with hand-painted flowers on it. Really classy, beautiful. I love it. And she also wears pieces like the Kaayo neck piece, which I think looks so good on her. She carries it so well. And as an example of using fashion to advocate something, she is wearing the Pidayat a lot, which is made by a designer from Pampanga called Philip Torres. So they come from the same province and she wears it a lot to the events here. And they are so eye-catching and beautiful. I think she's doing such a good job promoting it. and. If you're familiar, during the video wherein I'm talking about the 10 myths about life as a diplomatic spouse, I was wearing green pedayat earrings and those were actually from her. There's also Madame Pides Herrera Lim, who is the wife of our Philippine ambassador to Denmark. She does so well in representing her culture. She actually comes from the northern part of the Philippines and she would usually incorporate that in some of her Filipiniana looks. So during her husband's presentation of credentials in Denmark, she wore this beautiful, traditional Filipiniana dress, and it was just so elegant. And last but certainly not the least is Madame Ana Algabra Hernandez, who is the wife of our current Philippine ambassador to Turkey. She is always so elegant, always carries herself well, so she is definitely an inspiration. She also puts together Filipiniana outfits really, really well. One of my favorites is this terno top that she wore with just one side of the butterfly sleeves and it had like this beautiful, elegant cut that went on one side and here, of course, it's sleeveless. So it's kind of like a Venus cut. It also had a belt and it also opened up to the sides. Very beautiful. She wore it with pants and some stilettos. Really classy. Of course, there are more women who inspire me and they are the top five, the first five that came into my mind. So I just wanted to give a shout out to the women who inspire other women like me. So if you're buying your first Filipiniana investment piece and it is something that you want to go far, make sure that you get it in a classic cut and color. This will ensure that you are able to mix and match it with so many different things. Calculating the cost per wear can actually make you feel better for spending a little more than what you would spend for something that is off the rack. After all, especially if you are a diplomat or if you are someone who's married to one, you will have to attend a lot of diplomatic events and having a go-to modern Filipiniano wardrobe is a really good investment. When buying off-the-rack items that you want to pair with your Filipiniana pieces, my advice is to get things that you can wear with other things in your closet as well and for other occasions too. So let's say a skirt. Will you wear it with your terno top? Yes. But will you also wear it with your other tops that are not from your Filipiniana wardrobe? If the answer is yes, then it means that piece of clothing will also go far. And lastly, just circling back to what I said earlier, really make it your own, have fun with it, and enjoy putting together the outfit. It is, after all, part of our culture and part of our identity. But always make sure that you give these pieces of clothing the ample respect. Personally, I like to make sure that even though I'm modernizing the outfit, it is still very recognizable that it is from the Philippines. Or at least when you tell someone from another country that it is from the Philippines, when they see something similar to, uh, like on another person, then they will recognize it. Because that's also one of the reasons why I make sure that I wear some Filipiniana pieces in certain events. It is to promote our culture, to promote what we have, and to showcase our identity. So give proper respect, especially 
especially if you are wearing indigenous fabric. So in the next sit down video, I will be sharing with you some more tips and tricks that will be very helpful when you're living abroad, either as an expat, a diplomat, or a diplomatic spouse. And that is how to make new friends in your new city. To catch that upcoming video, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you found this video to be helpful, please do give it a like so that I know what type of content you guys would love to see more of in this channel. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you and I appreciate the time that you spent watching this video. Thank you once again and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!